Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mia Sin from Team Samurai X1 and today I'm coming at you guys with the most spiciest deck list that just won Montreal Regionals undefeated 8-0 by... Simon Saint-Amour. Alright, and uh, Simon, what, what, what spice do, do you have for us today? Uh, today I played Cyber Dragon, uh, go second Cyber Dragon and uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, but uh, what kind of Cyber Dragons? Uh, the best ones, I played uh, 3 ulti, Cyber Dragon. Alright, and do you want to say something about the D-Boys cards? <laughs> well, this is just because of um, a friend who has a full binder of them, he wanted me to uh, All right, sure. To reveal them in the All right. video. Okay, so yeah, 3 Cyber Dragons? So yeah, well, no need to explain, that card is probably the best card in the deck, you just special them and... Uh, Depends on the board of your opponent. You can make uh, fusion. You can link. You can special him. You can do infinity and blah blah. blah. It's a pretty good card overall. Mm -hmm. uh, the best searcher of the deck, uh, core. Obviously, you win games if you see this. Uh, when he's normal, you can add a spell trap cyber. And uh, when he's in a grave, if you control no monster, your opponent does. You can um, banish him and special any cyber dragon monster from your deck. I think core is probably the best normal summon in the game right now. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. It's a pretty good card. It gets you really far, yeah. Uh, the three errs. Uh, that card is really good. Um, the first effect is uh, when you special summon, uh, you can put him level 5, and you can only special uh, machine for the rest of the, the turn. Would you say the no more monsters that aren't machine clause is actually relevant, or you don't really care too much? Uh, the deck is built so I can only summon machine most likely, except couple links, but it doesn't really hurt. Okay. Plus that effect doesn't like it won't come that often. Yeah, that's true. Um, the other effect when you send to the graveyard, you can add a cyber dragon from grave or deck. So mm -hmm. this effect is the best to uh, recycle uh, your cores or like the Nashter or. Of Any course. cyber dragon that you need. Yeah, hers plus galaxy soldier is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, that too. It's uh, it's uh, infinity. Obviously. Instant infinity. Yeah, it's sixty three hundred damage as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, and you play the the new one three Nashter. Uh, this is broken. This, this card brought cyber dragon into the meta. Yeah. Um, when he, you you can discard a monster from your hand to special him. When he's normal or special summon, you can uh, revive a machine that has twenty four uh, twenty one attack or defense from your grave. Or defense, guys. Don't uh, don't forget this. <laughs> and uh, the restriction is you can only special summon a machine for the rest of the turn. Which is once again not it's not, not that bad. It's it's, it's fine. Bad. And also, I would like to say there is actually a way to. OTK your opponent if you have zero cards in your hand and zero cards in your field using just a Cyber Dragon core from your graveyard uh, in the grind game with Cyber Dragon Nashter, so it's uh, absolutely insane. Yeah, and uh, for the random Cyber Dragon, if I can say that, uh, one uh, Vire. Fia. Um, <laughs> the card is okay. Uh, when a Cyber Dragon is uh, normal or special, you can uh, reveal him and special him in defense. And uh, all Cyber Dragons, they gain uh, 500 attack and defense. Yeah, the most important thing is that in the TCG, the way chain links work, uh, Fia can actually uh, chain block the yeah. Cyber Dragon core. Yeah, so what you do is your normal core, and uh, on yeah. response to the, to, the, to the summon, you chain that. So yep. the effect to search will be chaining one, and the fire will be chaining two. Yep. So they can't ash. They can't ash it. Exactly. Very interesting to know. Only in uh, TCG, in OCG, uh, it's different. They would actually be able to ash the core. So. Yeah. Uh, and the one random Dre. Uh, card is okay. It's not that great, but you need it for... Um, for a specific card in the deck that we'll show uh, in a couple minutes. Uh, when, the card, when the card is normal, you can make him level 5. And if it gets banished, you can target a Cyber Dragon on the field. It cannot be destroyed um, for the turn. Not to mention that uh, Dry actually has nice synergy with Fia. Because you can go uh, normal Dry and then chain Fia and then both become level 5. Yeah. So if you true. only have these two cards in your hand, at least you have like a two card infinity. Yeah, and in the like in the late game, sometimes they're gonna leave the the regular Cyber Dragon on the field because they don't want you to banish for core. Yeah. So you can just search him, normal summon, use the effect, level five, then like, make Nova, and then you can play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. Uh, I believe that's it for the Cyber Dragons. Yeah, that's it for the Cyber Dragons. Uh, I would not change any of those ratios. Mm -hmm. I, I, today was really perfect. 
No, no, I, I really like these ratios as well. I, I pre I'm pretty sure I'm playing the same, except I was on uh, two Fias, but I, I might probably cut it uh, down to one. Uh, for the other machines, uh, two Galaxy Soldier. Uh, three is too much. You don't really need, like, most, anyway, like, you're gonna use, like, both, both in the, the same turn, so, like, the second one won't be able to search. And uh, it's pretty it's pretty easy to search that card, so you don't really need the third one. You could play the third one if you want, but like it's not necessary. Like the reason why actually we cut the third Galaxy Soldier is that ever since uh, next year come uh, came out, uh, sometimes the second Galaxy Soldier is just discard fuel for next year. Yeah, and and you don't even need to use the Galaxy Soldier effect from hand. Again. Yeah, and if uh, let's say you have this, um, the Nashter and the Urz and the uh, regular no. Yeah, a regular Cyber Dragon in the Grave. Or oh, that's not an even. ODK, yeah. Yeah, well, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, um, how do you, how do you say name, his name? Uh, Seeger. It's a Seeger. Because uh, mm -hmm. you won't use the second uh, Galaxy Soldier because he's, no, he's, exactly. he's just a minus. But you're going to yeah. use the, the Nash there to revive and then uh, revive the Cyber Dragon. Yeah. So you're going to have, you're going to have a, like, a, yeah. a, a pretty good board for the. For the next turn, well, for the same turn. You know, yeah. So I played one kaiju. Uh, I didn't want to lose to like random, like boss monsters. Plus, uh, in the Orcus matchup, it's not that bad to uh, kaiju the PK Rust, Link. Rusty. Uh... Yeah, the Rusty, and then you can fuse with the full board. Yeah, it's just that like they can uh, uh, fog bleed from grave to bring back the Rusty. So it's not that bad. It's yeah. Not that bad. Like, the Orcus matchup is a grind matchup. I, yeah, I, it is. You don't well, win and actually, and actually, grind. Cyber Dragon will grind out every every deck yeah. or OTK them. Yes, yeah. of course. Cy Cyber Dragon, it is. I, I feel like it's more of a control deck. Yeah. But when it draws insane, then it becomes an OTK deck. Yeah, that that's hundred percent true. And I played a couple of event traps. I played uh, three Vader. Uh, I know in Montreal there's a lot of. Um, Orcus, Orcus, Salad, and Thunder Dragon. So yeah. I wanted to be able to hit them. Uh, yeah. I was playing Ogre, but I cut the Ogre for three Veilers, and it worked pretty well today. Uh, this on Stalio, it's oh yeah, it's, it's a blowout. Yeah, especially when you like you do something on their turn, so they can yeah. they have to make Stalio in the extra monster zone, and you Veiler it, and that, yeah. they just pass. Also, it's light attribute, so fuel for a soldier. Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, three Ash. I don't really need to explain why I play three. It no. Negates uh, a search or a special summon from deck, which is pretty good. Also, one important thing, honestly, to note is that those hand shops are also the most commonly played by Salamangrate. So if you hand shop them with like a Veil or an Ash, for example, then they called by the Grave it, they cannot hand shop you the hand shop that they called uh, against you, so you know for a fact that you're safe. So, for example, you ash their uh, their stallion, they called by the grave it. The next turn, your emergency cyber or your core 100% can resolve, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, and well, I'll play double Thanos. Uh, I don't want to play three because I don't want to clog with it. Uh, two works pretty fine. I'm citing the third one actually for a couple of matchups, but uh, mm -hmm. he said that I like two of I think it's the perfect number. And the uh, the big spice of the deck, <laughs> uh, probably the, the best card in the deck, uh, yeah, the boss monster yeah. or like anything. My favorite card, at least. Uh, yeah. Double living year and Cyber, of, of Cyber Dragon. Yeah. Um, that card is really good. Uh, it's a level eight. I will explain the the, the reason why it's important. Yes. Later, and uh, like, its effect of uh, destroying two cards is really busted. And its effect to revive is it's really, good. really insane too. Most of the time, you're gonna revive like the Nova or anything that you need at that time, and uh, and then you like you proceed to win, because uh, most of the time people have a really big problem to remove the Nova, um, the the Infinity with Seeger on the field. They will have to it's minus. Insane. That's so, true. So you just win. Plus the Seeger and the Infinity is a big blowout for Prankatops. Yeah, that minus, is yeah. very true. And also, uh, Levineer is the kind of card that allows you to just come back uh, like into the game like really well. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, you're, like, you're on literally no cards, you draw Levineer, boom, you're already back in it. Yeah, that's probably the best card in life. Yeah. And also, we didn't explain the real reason why we played Levineer yet. You're you guys are going to show uh, see uh, soon enough. Yeah, don't forget he's a level 8. 
Of course. Uh, for the spells, I play Triple Twin. Um, Worker, Salad, Sky Striker, um, Chain Burn also. I didn't yeah, play against burn, Chain yeah, Burn today. Yeah, mine, uh, yeah. they, like, the deck, I don't think it's really it's that great. Uh, it's not consistent enough. Everyone plays uh, stuff to remove the back row. So. so like I'm, I'm more of a fan of MST than Twin because MST can be used on yourself, which is cool. And Twin kind of has a discard. But when you discard cards like hers and I, I guess Core, it's not too bad. No, I, well, I, I like the Cyber Dragon. Uh, not Cyber Dragon. Twin Twister, just because you can uh, destroy two cards. Uh, like, let's For say sure. my op let's say my opponent has like one back row. I can and I draw the overflow. I can set the overflow, pop the overflow, and the other yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, it's of not, course, it's not that bad. I just like the the option of popping two. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what I always do with Twin. Actually, I just destroy one of my opponent's cards. Plus, that's it. Uh, this can discard a target for Levenir to uh, banish. Oh yeah, so yeah it's yeah. not that bad. Uh, I played three Cyber Emergency. Uh, that card is really, but really good. Yeah, it's broken. <laughs> Searches um, a light mach a light machine that cannot be normal or set, but also a Cyber Dragon monster from your deck. If this card would be negated and sent to the graveyard, you can discard a card and add it back to your end, and you can only activate. So let's say you play versus um, Salamon Grid and you activate that. They roar? They roar. You discard one, you add it back, then you can reactivate it. Yeah, so Salamon Grids are a buy. Yeah, it happens a lot. Yeah. Pe people they don't read that effect, so oh, yeah. it helps a lot. And I played double uh, Cyber Repair Plant. Yeah, that's like the, the 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 really bad one. Oh my god! But like, what I like about that one is it searches uh, Galaxy Soldier and the Kaiju. So whenever you need uh, one of those two cards, you can just search it. Yeah. Plus uh, playing two is not bad because like Nashtra is a level one, Ur is a level one. And yeah, Link Rebo, And yeah. I play Link Rebo, so you can just Link Rebo. Then, sure. Then. I mean, when, we, when we're going to get El Mirage, the consistency of Cyber Dragon is going to go up tremendously, so that's going to help. Yeah. Uh, then for the one of uh, one foolish... Well, I mean, it's pretty good. You can send the Urz, search something, or you can foolish the core to special one from deck, so it, the yeah. effect comes up. Plus, you can send a target for Levin here. Mm -hmm. uh, one upstart, I just like play 39 cards, make it Consistent, trying to not break. Cyber Dragon, uh, this format only lose to himself. So yeah, that that is very true. Like most of the games that I lost today, because uh, my hand was pretty weak. Yeah. Compared to like my opponent, so. That's, that's true. Good. And sometimes, even when you break, you can, uh, you can win. Like I've break games and I still tool my opponent, so it's. Not yeah, you play it out with you know hand shops and stuff like that. And you, you can still win. Oh, it's super grindy. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I play one one machine dupe. Yeah. Uh, I I feel like one target for nine cyber dragon is like enough. This card is really bricky. You don't you never want to draw it. Of uh, course. In top deck mode, so one is perfect. Yeah. I I personally play zero, but I I think one is also a really respectable number. I I don't disagree with it whatsoever. I resolved this card twice today, and I won both game. Of course, yeah. Uh, one cyber load. That, that's <laughs> the OTK of the deck. That's the reason why Levinier is broken. Pl yeah, but that and uh, most of the people they main call by the grave and they call, they don't call it by the grave uh, your core. Mm -hmm. So you can just uh, fusion from the banish or the field. Yeah, exactly. When people use call by the grave against me, I want to give them a hug because it it's, it actually generates card advantage. Yeah, me. well, um, one of my opponent did he crow uh, one of my cyber dragon and um, call by the grave another one. So like I just oh. won because of. Oh my god. And uh, sometimes it happens not at today, but uh, during local. Sometimes people are they cherry Nova. So oh, this is awful. Oh my god! I actually, won against uh, Burn because of that. <laughs> Yo, uh, like some people actually strike my Nova twice in a row. Like it's it's wild. Yeah. It's yeah. I'm like okay, summon a fusion. Okay, summon another fusion. <laughs> uh, so and I play one overflow. Uh, you want to search it. You don't want to draw it. Uh, this card is pretty good. Uh, banish uh, different level from your grave, hand or field to destroy the same amount. It's not a cost to banish and it doesn't target. And if this card would be destroyed, you can add one cyber spell uh, or trap from your deck. Oh yeah, that that effect is used just as often as you activate the card. Yeah, literally. sometimes you you activate oh, yeah. it, they have to negate it, so you get, it, it gets yeah. destroyed and you search. And so, uh, by the way, I've been going like set overflow, summon Levianir to pop my own overflow like so often. It never came up to me. Okay, yeah. 
I, I've been doing that yeah, so it, much. It could happen. Yeah. Uh, you want me to go for the salad or the extra deck first? Uh, extra deck, please. Sure. Thank so you. So let's go for the spice. Yes. Uh, one link curry bow. Uh, so the repair plan, they're, they're not dead. Uh, one genius. Oh, G genius is really good against multi roll. It's good against multi roll and yeah. it's good against uh, Thunder Dragon. You negate the Colossus. Uh, true. So you can like play and blah blah. blah. You can run over him. And get yeah. Destroys. Right. Um, one beat cop. I just I I wanted to like a generate link two, to remove like, the weak monsters I have on board if I have low, low, low life or sometimes my extra deck is clogged. So you just do this. Yeah, it's just that I think there's I a better card to but, but, play than Beat Cup. I don't like uh, Wee Witch, but that's personal opinion. Yeah. Uh, one Seeger, uh, that card is pretty good. Uh, you need two machine. One needs to be a Cyber Dragon. Uh, during the battle phase, you can target a machine that has 21 or more attack and uh, gave it uh, 21. Uh, that like Seeger doesn't deal damage uh, the turn you activate that. But uh, yeah, and uh, it's a cyber dragon on the on the field. That's pretty much it. For that. Yeah, it's a good link. Yeah, and to like control, you play three mega fleet and two fortress. These are level eights, so you uh, can over. Well, not not mega fleet. Mega yeah. fleet is level ten. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, fortress, fortress. Yeah, yeah. yeah, super easy to make too. Yeah, <laughs> against Orcus. <laughs> yeah, and, huge uh, contact fuse. Yeah, and you. I play one Rampage, uh, it's OTK, and it's pretty good because you can send Urz and Cord, add Cord and uh, normal Cord, so it's not that bad. Yeah. Uh, then that's pretty standard, I guess. Uh, double Nova, Double Infinity, this, this, like, this win games. Uh, most of the people they forget about its like, second effect, which is uh, banish the Cyber Dragon and gain 21 attack. Oh yeah. So sometimes you can just OTK because of that. Uh, Infinity is just a negation, mm -hmm. and you can take uh, attack position monster and like equip it. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, if people don't know Infinity's effect in 2019, I think there's oh, a small problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Big spice. <laughs> uh, Dingirsu. Oh, beautiful! I feel so proud, man. Uh, two level eight to summon him. When he's normal, uh, when he's uh, special, you can either send a card on the field or equip one of your banish yeah and he has 21 defense so which can... is the most beautiful my, my favorite number of the game actually 21 and <laughs> so, so you can uh, revive it with uh, Nashter. yes sir so you can like keep looping the uh, him with Nashter. Mm. you can like if you have a Nashter banish you can just equip it back then kill something uh doesn't it have to be a dark machine sorry no i'm not just sure a machine. just a machine oh my god Whoa. That's 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 actually really insane. Yeah, that's it for the extra deck. Oh, sorry. You would you would uh, rather um, get back what the the core, right? The core that you banish. Depends on what right? you need. Sometimes yeah. I will get the turn if I don't. Have for sure, it. for sure, yeah. But most of the time, it's uh, either Urz or uh, core. Oh yeah. So for the side, triple vanity swing. <laughs> People don't don't make me go first, so you just side this. Uh, this wins against. Uh, on the dragon, salad, uh, orcus, uh, anything besides sky striker. Yeah, it's it's so funny, man. I, I was watching you play, and every time people like made you go first, they regretted it instantly after. It, it was yeah. so funny. Yeah, well, <laughs> one of my opponent had a full board of uh, salad, and I just tribute some of that. He's like, oh, yeah. you look at his grave, <laughs> uh, rage is in the grave. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the guy's cool. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Uh, the third channels you side this against um, every link spam deck. Yeah. Uh, Triple Lancia for Thunder Dragon and Orcus. Uh, yeah, it's pre that's pretty much it. Like, it. Plus, it's a light, so yeah. you discard it and it's a target for living here. La Lancia was pretty cute against Gabe, but he ended on a grand total of uh, zero negates. <laughs> yeah, and then I just proceed to win. Yeah, basically. Uh, triple heavenly match. Uh, I feel like most of the time this is good against Orcus because uh, they oh, yeah. they have to s like set the field, the field spell and not the counter. So, yep. So you just go this and like they minus five. Yeah. So mm. and then like the comeback is really hard for them. Hmm. Uh, two sphere mode. 
Uh, I just didn't want to lose against Pendulum or Thunder Dragon. Ah, oh, you don't like my Pendulum deck? No, Pendulum is it's really painful for Cyber Dragon. Unfortunately, yeah, that's true. And three Typhoon. I didn't side the card at all. I, it's just good against uh, Draco yeah. and uh, Burn. And Orchest. Yeah, and Orchest, but I didn't side it. I, you don't really need that against. Yeah, that's true, I guess. So that's that's it. All right, all right. So, do you have any uh, like uh, anything to say? Any shout outs or anything? Uh, any like uh, feedback about your deck? I uh, would not change a single card in this deck, either the main side or extra deck. I feel like this deck is pretty much the best deck of the format. It's really good. It wins. Uh, th th this deck has a good matchup against Orcus, Salad, Sky Striker. Uh, it has a decent matchup against Thunder Dragon, depending on his board and if I open a matchup or not. Yeah, that's true. Uh, like, beside that, it's just. Yeah. Cyber Dragon. I do agree. The thing with Cyber Dragon is that there, it is the deck in the format that has the most uh, technical skill. That, that's that's what I would uh, give him. Yeah, and it's really good so. for grind. And yeah, like, rewards other... you for well uh, for being able to understand your deck really well. Sorry. It rewards you for like yeah. understanding your deck. If yeah. you if you misplay, it it shows and you lose so so much. Yeah, and um, most of the time when you play against Salad, they gonna end on like one link and yeah. and the the war. So you can just set fusion some uh, yeah. like make, make fusion, a fleet then you already win then like he can yep. do shit. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, uh, thank you so much, guys, for uh, watching this deck profile, and thank you, uh, Simon, for the for for the for actually showing us the the deck. Yeah. And uh, congratulations again on the first place, doing it with the Cyber Dragons in 2019 in a format with like. Like so many, so many decks, man. The variety of this format actually makes things so much harder. But seriously, congratulations, man. You did really well. Uh, nice job, man. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, it is Yasin from Team Samurai X1 signing out. Peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Uh, talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. Uh, RIP the game, shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got the deed with it. These bozos always sneak this and they taking shots. I'm a keen with it. Like, no, no, this league business.